Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Um, we are gonna finish taking a look at the Scorpio male. We're gonna take a look at some things to see why and what, kind of, you know? Alright. So consider this a continuation or part two. Ancestors. Tell me about heartache. I did clear the board a little bit. Um, I did. I cleared the board. I left some stuff out that I might need, so. I did meditate, but I did not pull the cards. Ancestors, tell me more about heartache and loss, please. Tell me about the Scorpio male with heartache and loss. Ancestors, I'm using these. Ancestors, tell me about heartache. Okay. Okay, we have Queen of Wands. So there could have been somebody who broke their heart who was a little bit, they could have been a feisty person. It could have been a person that had a lot of confidence. So that could have been one of the people that broke or Scorpio male could be worried about. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that could have hurt them. Ancestors, tell me more. Ten of Cups. Okay. So I believe that you were looking to have some kind of happy home with this person, right? Where you had total love and support, and I don't think that you got that. Or the Scorpio male, maybe maybe it was an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who felt like you weren't providing them the ultimate support that they needed, right? So that could have been one of the situations that, um, that you're carrying now. Ancestors, tell me more. Mm, we have Three of Wands. Okay, that talks about somebody trying to figure out, I don't know, it's like traveling, it's like traveling business commerce, like things like that. So, this person could have had some, some issues with that. It was a feisty person who felt like they weren't getting the total love and support that they wanted, so they decided maybe to take their show on the road. They could have done, there could have been some, something with traveling. Ancestors. Mm, okay, so then we have the death card. So something could have ended here. There were big changes, there were endings, and I think that um, this person may have moved on. It looks like this person may have moved on from you, Scorpio, at some point. Okay, uh, I see you here. I see water here. I mean, it could have been a, a Pisces, Cancer, or another Scorpio. But it looks like somebody may have moved on from you, and that could contribute to, you know, where you are now. Hmm. All right. Let's leave this here. Let's send a heartache and loss. In case I need to go back to the rooms, I'm going to just leave those there. Ancestors, tell me more about memories of love, please, for the Scorpio male. Ancestors, please tell me more about memories of love. Scorpio male, please. Ancestors. Ancestors, tell me more. Mm, okay, there was some kind of conflict with somebody. It could have been... It could have been um, having memories of... It, was an, uh, it could have been a very harsh or an abusive relationship with the Five of Swords. It could have been a lot of bullying, argue, uh, arguing, and fighting. And there could have been an air sign involved. A Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Ancestors, tell me more. Tell me more about memories of love. Mm, Queen of Cups. There could have been some kind of conflict with somebody who could have been a water sign. This person was. Ex this person comes across as being a person who is supportive to you. Somebody who provided the, the nurturing that you needed, the healing, the support. And maybe, let's do one more to see what, oh, okay. Six of Cups. Okay, so Six of Cups again, again, talks about nostalgia. Um, so there could be a Gemini thinking about you, Scorpio, or Scorpio, you could be thinking about a Gemini, or you could have some feelings about an air sign, or this could be another, this could be a fellow water sign that you're thinking about and having nostalgic memories about. This person was supportive. This person was there for you. Um, it looks like something may have happened. You're looking to have some kind of reunion with this person, but there was some kind of conflict, right? Their relationship, 
it could have been a, a, a an, it could have been a, an a, a difficult relationship but there's definitely some sort of love here there's some memories that you are going back to ancestors one more please mm. okay we have the world card so something could be ending something could be beginning it be renewing again i kind of see whether you're looking for some kind of renewal with somebody i don't know if it's a fellow uh a fellow water sign okay because this is completing a lesson and this is uh taking some kind of so here you have nostalgic memories about somebody but it looks like um there's a goal or a lesson that you may have learned and is it also talks about travel so you could be looking to see somebody or somebody could look and look be looking to see you scorpio male here in case I need to go back to them. All right. Ancestors. Tell me about patience and planning for the Scorpio male, please. Ooh, okay. All right. Immediately what turned over is the Fool card. Okay, so this could be you. I don't know, kind of playing with the unknown. This is about you going off into the unknown and maybe starting something new. But it seems like this is something where... I don't know if you're skeptical about it. I don't know what your reservations are. But this is about... It's about new beginnings. It's about hope. It's about taking a new path. And I'm just not sure... You're going to do something. I just don't know when you're going to do it. You're contemplating doing something. You're contemplating a new beginning. And you're contemplating... I think you're looking for a renewal. Because that's fresh hope, taking chances, but it's new paths, but also beginnings. And it looks like you might be thinking about... Let's see. Okay, Ace of Hazards. So, okay, so this might have to do with you, again, being upside down or thinking about what you want to do next in your career. We see that here with the Ace of Hazards, which is Ace of Pentacles. So that talks about a job, a promotion, investment, some kind of new income. Um, it did, maybe money you didn't know about coming. We also have Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords energy here. It's kind of like a lifestyle change. A fast moving lifestyle change so so maybe you're contemplating you you're something that you need to be planning I think you might be taking your time and trying to figure out how you're gonna have this new beginning okay because there's some new job or promotion that could be coming to you Scorpio male all right and then we also have the we have the nine of swords here so this is some kind of lifestyle change that is probably that's gonna happen and I just don't know that you're I don't know. You're having some reservations about it. In case I need to. Ancestors, please tell me about... Tell me about power. Ancestors, tell me about the Scorpio male and power, please. Ancestors, tell me about power. Okay. King of Swords. Okay, this is somebody who's a strategic, thoughtful leader. And I don't know if this is self-doubt, but it feels like you're having some trouble, like, taking that, taking that position, if that makes any sense. Okay, where you do things, you think logically. I don't know if you're having trouble in that area. Three of, ha three of hazards. So this has to do with, again, teamwork, collaboration. This has to do with work or family. Okay, it talks about work and skill and craftsmanship. We have five of cups. Okay. You feel some kind of loss of regret. It could be towards... It could be towards... Well, let's see who's here. Let me just break that. It could be towards an air sign. It could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or it could be another... It could be a fellow water sign that you're, that you're having some kind of conflict with. You're trying to be some kind of leader. I don't think you feel great about the position or something. It's something having to do with, I don't know, it could be collaboration. It could be work. It could be about getting along in this connection with whoever um, this, whoever you're connected to. Like I said, it could be... 
So then we have five of cups reversed. So that says there's some kind of loss of regret and abandonment. But maybe, I don't know if it could be all in your head, which I doubt, but there's something where you were probably feeling abandoned and unloved in some sense. All right, ancestors, tell me more. Tell me about Scorpio male's intentions on moving forward. Ancestors, please tell me about the delay and tell me why there's a delay here. Mm. There's a delay here because uh, there could be is something that you are... There's a delay here, right? There's a delay here with how you want to move forward. You could be... There's something having to do with maybe a relationship. It could have like a new love, a relationship... Eight of Cups. I'm moving away from something. I'm withdrawn. I am withdrawn from who? I think this is another. I don't know if you're dealing with another water sign. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Ooh. And then you might end up having something new. Or there's some kind of action being taken towards a fire sign or something like that. But there's more water here. Four of cups. You're not fulfilled. You weren't filled. You were not feeling fulfilled in some relationship that you were in. And maybe you decided you had to take some kind of action here. Because there's also there's also fire. Ancestors, tell me more. Yep, you feel like you were deceived about something. You could have been dealing with the Pisces. So you felt like there was something that was hidden from you. Or there were problems that you didn't see initially. There were changes in trust. Your intuition kept telling you that something had to, that you had to move forward in something. And I think it had to do with this relationship. But it seems like you're thinking about this person. It looks like it's a water sign. Ancestors, let me see. Why can I bow down on these cards? Ancestors, tell me about, no, I'm not taking that. Ancestors, tell me about chemistry, please, for the Scorpio male. Ancestors, please tell me about chemistry. Tell me about love and chemistry for the Scorpio male. Oh, two. Okay, we'll take two. Okay, we have nine of wands. So nine of wands talks about um, some kind of boundaries, like, and it's just what it says. There's there's a strong attraction here. I think you guys operate off of attraction, right? But to some people, to me, it's just it's not enough. So you might be putting boundaries on yourself that you're not even aware of, which I kind of pointed out earlier. But this kind of details that again. You also have the star card. So you, there's, again, you're looking or you're debating whether or not you want to have some sort of renewal with somebody. That's what it looks like. It could be an Aquarius. You could be wanting to have a reunion with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ancestors, tell me more about family issues. Ancestors, tell me about family issues, please. Ancestors, tell me about the Scorpio male and family issues, please. Ancestors, tell me about family. Okay. All right, we got two. Okay. I feel like Scorpio male, you might be looking for some sort of justice or trying to understand why there was no justice done in some situation having to do with family. Okay. Um, this talks about cause and effect. It talks about solutions. It talks about the truth coming out. There's something that maybe went on in the family where you want the truth to be told. Either it could impact the family as a whole or it could impact you individually. There's something here where you're looking for some kind of justice with your family. Next, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That talks about um, kind of like being a resourceful person. It talks about fertility. It talks about you trying to really, I think, repair. There's something having to do with the family, again, I believe. It talks about fertility. It talks about wanting to expand something. It talks about home. Being domestic. Ancestors, one more, please, for family. Okay. We have night. We have night of hazards. Okay, so that's a reliable person. It looks like somebody who's waiting for some kind of hard work to pay off. Okay, so I kind of think that you are looking for justice in all areas. I don't think this necessarily all has to do with family, but 
um it does right because there's family healing here you're looking for some sort of justice in something something having to do with the home obviously that's family that's knight of hazards so that's something where you may be okay because it's reversed so maybe there's something going on in the family where you just cannot give your all to to being a reliable person like maybe this is one of the times in your life where you feel like you're not as put together as you typically are because of something that could be going on with the family we have nine of hazards mm. Okay, so this is talking about financial stability again. So maybe this has to do with, I don't know if you have children with uh, somebody. Or this could be something that took place over time as you grown up. There's something having to do here where you are worried or, you know, the other piece to it too is you could be dealing with an herb sign here. Right, because we're starting to see a lot of pinnacles come up as well. Um, so healing family issues, I think that that may have to do with stability, money, family in this case. So that might be one of the things that you're healing. All right. And this all to me kind of goes back to trying to get yourself back together in terms of work, but also putting the effort in. I think that there's some, some things that are holding you back here. Obviously this whole row for you, Scorpio male is reversed, like positive moving forward. It's kind of like you're contemplating, how am I going to do this? Oh, okay. Well, two more. let's see Oh, three. All right, I'm going to take them. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Okay, we have Empress Energy. This is somebody could be pregnant. This is somebody trying to expand something. You could be a parent. Maybe you don't feel like you're the best parent right now. Or maybe you feel like you could be doing more. There's something where um, some creation or pregnancy, something that you're not necessarily... feeling great about maybe it's your parenting skills maybe you feel like you've been missing a little bit it looks like you're trying to bring something into fruition we have the magician card here so that's just kind of you trying to manifest what you want and act on it if that makes any sense to you we have the five of one what is that we have the five of wands here so this talks about some kind of rivalries or something that could be standing in your way of you manifesting what you want that's what I'm kind of getting out of this. There's something standing in the way you manifest in what you want. Ancestors, one more. Okay. It says here that you're hoping for a joyous outcome in something. Something that could have been challenging, I think, in the past for you. Where you were having uh, problems manifesting what it is you want. But your creativity now is focused. Your visions are focused. And I think you might be ready. When you're ready, you're really going to do this, I guess, in terms of your career. And really focusing on your family. So there's a something change that you're manifesting. And I think you might be learning from things that happened in the past. Or just trying to handle things differently. Because I see you clearly saying, listen, I have an issue in this area. You're acknowledging where your shortfalls are. I'm having a problem in this area. I'm going to manifest better. right? I'm going to try and do something that's a little bit more positive. To avoid these obstacles and challenges. And hopefully if I deal with them by manifesting and making the changes that I need. They will have a joyous outcome. That's what I'm getting from here hmm. um heart to heart conversations let's see if you can get any comments heart to heart conversations Okay, so we see that the Scorpio male might be reluctant to have conversations, okay? They don't seem to really, I think they're more action. And what's on their mind? And we want the real, real. I mean, even if they're great on the surface or whatever, everybody has those thoughts. So let's see what they're thinking. Ancestors. What are Scorpio male's thoughts? Just in general. Just in general. Hmm. Where do I want them to go? Ancestors? Mm. I don't want to take those. I didn't see it. But I don't even take it. Ancestors, tell me the Scorpio male's thoughts, please. Show me him. 
Show me him, please. Oh, okay. Hold up. Ancestor, show me him, please. All right. All right, something happened. And Scorpio male is saying, I scared myself that day. I don't know what day this is. I understand you better now. Hmm. We are more alike than I admit. I've been struggling lately. So it looks like that could be something that the Scorpio male is thinking or maybe Scorpio male, whoever you're connected with, is, is thinking about you. I just wanted to throw that out there in the heart-to-heart -heart -heart conversations because these conversations, it looks like they failed to be had, right? So when I pulled the cards, I kind of wanted to know what is Scorpio male thinking or what are these heart-to-heart -heart conversations? What should they consist of or what, what should they consist of? What should they have consisted of? Like these should have been had already. I don't think they were. So I don't know. It just feels like you think maybe people think you think you're an open book and there are some things that people are wondering or, or I don't know. I don't know why these things are being said. So it seems like heart to heart conversations need to be had. All right. That was just a quick update. Is there anything else we need to know? Because there are your cards all over the place. Hmm. Yeah, we got cards all over the place so that's pretty much it all right i'll probably put up another reading later i just wanted to give more detail on this and that and this and that all right love you guys bye